Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. So nearly a month ago on April 17th, we hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I promised a Q&A special. Well, here we are, and now that Prime Empire is over, I've had a chance to look over the questions you've sent me. So without further ado, here's my 5,000 subscribers special Q&A video. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel for our 5,000 subscribers special. So let me explain how this is gonna work. So basically, I'll spend the next 10 minutes answering as many questions as I can in that time, and we'll be taking questions from YouTube, Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, there were over 100 questions submitted, so unfortunately, I can't answer them all, but if you really have a question that you wanna ask me, just ask me in the comments here or on Discord, and I'd be more than happy to answer it. Also, there were some of you who sent me long lists of questions, so I may not answer all of them, but I'll try to answer at least a few of them. And before we start, thank you guys so much for all of your awesome questions. You guys sent me in a lot, and I really appreciate that because that gave me a lot to work with here. And also, once again, thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. Now, let's start. So one thing you guys wanted to know was, how old am I? And the answer to that is, I am 14 years old. However, my birthday is in nearly a week on the 19th, so I will be turning 15 then, so you could say I'm basically 15 already. Tying into that question, what grade am I in? Well, I was a freshman in high school, so that's 9th grade. But due to the coronavirus, our schools will not be opening this year, so next time I go to school, I'll be a sophomore. What is my favorite color? My favorite color is actually green, and green has actually been my favorite color for a really long time, maybe a decade or so. Blue is a close second, blue is the color of my logo and the Chicago Cubs, but yeah, I would have to say green is my favorite. Next question, how tall am I? And the answer to that is I am 5 foot 9 inch. In metric system terms, or literally anywhere else in the world, that is 175 centimeters. Thank you to Google for that one. Seriously, America's gotta convert to the metric system. Where do I live? I actually live in Maryland, and the closest city is actually the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. So I'm about 30 minutes away from there, and about an hour away from Baltimore. A few of you asked me what inspired me to become a YouTuber and why did I start YouTube? Well, when I joined the Ninjago community in January 2018, I was definitely inspired by all the people really dedicated to the show, making art and writing stuff and videos all about Ninjago. And so one night I thought to myself I wanted to share my take, and I thought all night about what I would call the channel. The next day I settled on Ninjago News TV, and that was the start of my channel. I think what people in the community who create related to Ninjago is really amazing, and I wanted to be a part of that. So that's really why I made the channel, just to share my take on a show I love. Was there ever a time in my life when I lost interest in Ninjago? And that is a great question, and the answer is yes. Throughout 2016 and 2017, my interest in Ninjago definitely declined. I didn't lose full interest, but I definitely wasn't as interested as I was before. And I also stopped collecting sets too, and this was also when I kinda lost interest in LEGO as a whole as well. So that's why I'm ultimately missing sets from that middle era of Ninjago, from season 5 all the way to the movie. And yeah, during this phase I also didn't find out Skybound existed until months later, and I didn't end up seeing the movie until several months later either. As for why, I honestly don't really have an answer for you, I guess I kinda just lost interest in the series. I mean, I still like the series, and I watched season 7 and Day of the Departed when they released, but I don't know, I definitely wasn't as interested as before. But that would change in 2018 when I started my channel, and since then I've been back into the series and I've been getting sets too. What am I doing when I'm not making videos and when I'm not on social media? I'll share a bit of my coronavirus routine. Well, like a lot of you, I would guess I like video games, so a few times a week I might be playing Mario. We also have an elliptical machine at my house, so I try to do exercise on that often, and I've been watching season 8 while doing this recently. And of course, we've all had online school, and I've been studying for the AP US History test, which is coming up on Friday, so so wish me luck. Is YouTube a hobby, career, or temporary job? And that's a great question. The answer is it is mostly a hobby. Not a career because this isn't what I intend to do with my life, and not a job either because I do have another job. And while the channel is monetized, I have not actually gotten paid from YouTube yet, so it is mainly for my own enjoyment. So YouTube mainly to me is like an intense hobby, if you want to call it that. Epic question here, what is my max score on the pacer test? And yeah, to those of you who don't know what the pacer test is, I envy you. Basically, it's this running endurance test where you run from one side of the room to the other, and you keep doing it until you get tired and are forced to drop out. I'm not the best at explaining this, but just know that it's a running endurance test, and you can look it up if you want to learn more. Chances are, if you have done it, you've been forced to at school in your gym class, which is the case for me as well. I can't remember my exact score, but it was in between 65 and 70, I think. Thank god I never have to do one of these again because I am out of middle school gym. But yeah, if you have not yet done a pacer test, consider yourself lucky because these are not fun at all. 
Have I ever been bullied or mocked for liking Ninjago? And if so, what advice would I have? Fortunately, I have not been bullied for liking Ninjago. However, this is definitely something that a lot of fans face, and I'm sorry to those who are experiencing this or have gone through this in the past. You should never have to feel bad or be shamed about something that you're interested in, because after all, we all have our own tastes and likes, and that is what makes us us. Especially something as harmless as Ninjago. Last I checked, Ninjago never did anyone harm. These kind of people absolutely disgust me, and just the fact that they feed off of this negative energy. So I would say stay strong and don't stop liking Ninjago. It's an awesome TV show and the reason why it's so popular is because it appeals to all age groups. So if you're a teenager who likes Ninjago, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Am I ever going to do stop motion? And the answer to that is likely not. Stop motion is really cool when executed well, and I mean, I think I could do small projects, but probably not a full season. And if I were to do a full season like that, then theory videos wouldn't be happening. But I've tried stop motion before, and I definitely have respect for stop motion YouTubers. It's pretty hard stuff. Either that or I'm just bad at it, which is definitely a possibility. What is my advice to new YouTubers who want to start their channel? 5,000 subscribers in the grand scheme of things isn't a lot, but I think I can give you advice on how to kind of kickstart your channel. First impressions are everything, so make sure your thumbnail is appealing and is clean and organized. Here's what not to do. Dark image, dark text, logo and text are lopsided for no reason. Multiple explanation points and lack of capitalization. This is just a really poorly made thumbnail, very messy. This one is much better. Good image, the text can actually be read. You don't have to make your thumbnails like mine, but it's more about avoiding the mistakes in the bad example. I also recommend you be active on another social media platform. Personally, I recommend Discord. Very easy to use and it's helped me a lot. Twitter and Instagram work too. Getting to know the community there will help you because you have some people who will hopefully support you. These are relatively basic tips, but I hope they help you and best of luck with your channel. This one got asked a lot, how do I think Ninjago will end and when will it end? This question is hard to say because there's no indication of the show stopping anytime soon, but I can say this. I think the show will definitely go to season 15 at least, and right now we have up until season 13 confirmed, so season 15 would be the end of 2021. However, I could even see it going all the way to season 20 because Ninjago is very successful for LEGO. They would not just pull the plug on one of their most successful themes. As for how it'll end, I could see them going with some kind of ultimate evil villain like the Overlord or Omega. And I personally think that would be a good route to go with, because kind of ending the series with a powerful villain would be nice. If it were up to me, I would have the first Fijitsu Master be the ultimate evil of Ninjago, and maybe, you know, he's upset because Ninjago isn't as peaceful as he envisioned. But yeah, I could elaborate more on that in a future video. You guys also wanted to know when and how I started watching Ninjago, and I actually started in 2012 after season 1 but before season 2. My very first episode was actually episode 3, Snake Bit. And I had a few friends who were watching Ninjago at the time, so that's basically how I got hooked. They got me introduced to the show. And knocking out Quick's final question here, do I ever plan on expanding my channel past Ninjago? Great question, but I would say probably not. I mean, I do stuff sometimes, like I do Mandalorian reviews and other Star Wars reviews, but I don't think I would ever make anything a secondary focus. What I'm trying to say here is that Ninjago will always be my main thing, and side stuff will only happen once in a long while. My side stuff, usually Star Wars content, won't be anything more than once in a while. The only exception would be if Ninjago ends and people completely lose interest. In that case, I would shift my focus over to something else. But I do one day hope to review these Star Wars movies, and maybe one day if Ninjago ends, then I would do that. And tying into that question, what will I do when Ninjago ends? Well, my next aim would be to focus on older Ninjago stuff. I'd go back and try to make analysis style videos on the older stuff, but if people just don't care and don't want to see that, I would shift over to something else. And that something else would likely be Star Wars or other movie reviews. But I would definitely prefer to do older Ninjago stuff as opposed to shifting my channel completely. What do I use to make my videos? I actually use iMovie. All of my videos are made on my iPad and very simple tool, but it's effective, it works. So nothing wrong with that. Does my family know about my channel? Yes, they do. And I'm recording a lot, and also I'm a bad liar, so I would not be able to keep that secret. If I could have any Ninjago elemental power, what would it be? I would actually say ice or energy, something like that would be cool. And personality-wise, I could see myself ending up with mind. Did I ever imagine I'd be at 5,000 subscribers when I started? Absolutely not, I mean, the goal back then was 100, and then 1,000, and really I would not have expected to be here. And the summers have been successful for my channel. Summer 2018 was when I hit 500, and last summer I got around 2,000 subscribers. What keeps me interested in Ninjago during hiatus is, really just going back to rewatch old seasons, I mean, there's so much awesome stuff from the past. Then you also have the leaks for the next season, and you know, there never really is a time where Ninjago isn't present, even when a season isn't airing, you still have leaks and stuff. 
My initial expectations on season 12, I was expecting another season 11, so season 12 definitely exceeded all expectations. Would I prefer a Ninjago movie sequel or live action? I'll be honest, I wouldn't really want live action, it just seems too weird to me. I think a Ninjago movie sequel could fix the flaws of the original one, so I would take that. And will I ever watch anime? I guess one day it's possible. I mean, I definitely wouldn't rule it out. If I could collab with any YouTuber, who would it be? I don't really have a dream collab in mind, but I guess a bigger Lego or Ninjago YouTuber would be cool. My favorite video on my channel is why Garmanon is the perfect villain. I think this one is one of my best quality videos yet, and I really like it personally. And am I ever gonna do Ninjago meme review? I guess if people really want it, sure. I mean, I think a lot of other channels have done it though, so it wouldn't really be that original. What video do I regret making? Well, none really, but I guess looking back on it, I shouldn't have done season 12 episode predictions. I kind of got overloaded with season 12 videos to do, especially with the season 13 leaks, and it was to the point where I was doing daily or even double daily uploads. So next season, I won't be doing those. And what video was the most fun to make? I had a fun time making this one, and I also enjoyed this video as well, and stay tuned for part two to come sometime soon. How long does the average video take to make? It depends, some days I have better days than others, but a three minute video can actually take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Does making videos ever get stressful or boring? Yeah, sometimes it does actually, and especially at the end of like these daily upload stretches like last month, it does get boring. What motivates me to keep doing these videos? Well, I love making videos for you guys, and I think that consistency is really something I value, and I wanna keep doing these at a consistent schedule. What is the most dangerous slash thrilling thing I've done? A few years ago, we actually went like climbing up a waterfall in Costa Rica. And also like uh, two years ago, maybe I went rapid swimming in the Potomac River. I'm not a thrill seeker, so both of these things were kind of scary. Also, please do a basement tour. Looks like that's something that you guys want, a basement tour. So I'll say this, how about a basement slash Lego room tour at 10K? Who is my favorite ninja? That would have to be Lloyd. I really like his character, especially in season eight and nine. I love his story. What is my favorite Ninjago season? Mine is actually season four, Tournament of Elements, has been for a while and likely will always be. What is my favorite Ninjago set and minifigure? Well, I love the Temple of Air Jitsu. Aside from that and the city, I also really love the Legacy Monastery. And my favorite minifigure would have to be season three's Golden Master. Origin of the name Daily Roller, great question. Well, actually my old Minecraft name used to be Mindlord. So when I signed up for Roblox in 2016, I wanted to use Rollord. However, it was already taken. So the system suggested an adjective to put at the front and it suggested Daily Rollard, hence the name was born. Some people wanted to know what my real name is, and as I said before, I'm not going to reveal this. Reason being, just because of privacy, I don't really want to give that away. I can tell you though that my initials are KK, and before you ask, my middle name does not start with K because that would be really bad. I don't actually have a middle name. And our final question, the face reveal. When will it happen? Will it ever happen? Well, like the name reveal, this is not something I ever intend to do, unless by some slim chance YouTube becomes my career. I can however give you this, I have posted a few images, and this was taken back in October 2019, so here you can just toy around with this. And with that, we are done with our Q&A. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know. Once again, I want to thank you guys so much for your amazing questions and for the entire point of this video, helping me reach 5,000 subscribers. I am so grateful to be at this number and we would not be here without each and every one of you. So once again, guys, thank you guys so much for helping me reach 5,000 subscribers and I'll see you next time.